We're back inside PNC Arena, meeting number 125 between these two teams. First this weekend, the goaltending matchup tonight for the Hurricanes. Cam Ward, 25 saves, 4-1 to one win over Toronto on Thursday night. Their team defense is number 20. Henrik Lundqvist for the Rangers. His last game was Tuesday night, 29 saves, a 6-2 win over Calgary. Their team defense is number 13. He has five shutouts of the eight the Rangers have already this season. Sit back and enjoy this one. Chris Kreider for the New York Rangers looking for Marty Salome denied by Eric Stahl as the Hurricanes attempt to get it out. Kreider in control coming off a strong game in Calgary on Tuesday. It's loose to the point. Dan Girardi wipes it along for Derek Stepan. Broken up here and carried out by Eric Stahl for Nathan Gerby. Back for Stahl and a nice back check by the Rangers. Stepan and away they go. Cherry picking with San Luis, but it rolled off his stick. Nothing wrong with establishing a shot early if you're Carolina. Stepan played a really good game the other night in Calgary. His game may be coming on after being injured early this season. The Rangers have won four in a row and three in a row on this road trip, which was disjointed a bit by coming back from West Western Canada for the last couple of days after wins in Vancouver, Edmonton, and Calgary. Mark Stahl is playing very well. Matt Zuccarello in control. Rick Nash with 20 goals, whips it all the way across. Just outside the line, feathered along by Derek Cressard, who is one of many back for months. Now back of the goal, Andre Sakara in control. The wheel from his own zone, take a hit from Zuccarello as the Rangers now Finally touch up here, and it's batted down with a high stick, so we get a break in play. We see Bill Peters for the first time tonight. Well, let's see if it continues an early indication because Bill Peters submits his lineup after Elaine Vigneault, being the visiting coach, does so first. And Vigneault started with Stepan playing with Marty San Luis and Chris uh, Kreider. Bill Peters comes back with Stahl. And then Broussard comes on playing with Rick Nash, the 20 goal scorer, and it's Victor Rask and Falk and Sakara. So let's see if the Carolina Hurricanes look for that, uh, that matchup. The Rangers are 15, 10, and 4, number 10 in the East, 19th overall. Carolina 9, 19, and 3, 6, 7, and 1 here. As it rolls in on Cam Ward, we get a break in play. Let's take a look at the Rex Express Care. Injuries and scratches, Rex Healthcare is chosen for excellence. Well, Yuri Talusti, uh, Andre Nestroshill have yet to hit the ice. Jordan Stahl looks like will be out until after Christmas. John Michael Lyles and Alex Seven will accompany the team on the trip to Manhattan tomorrow. And they could be available for either that game or in New Jersey. Lee Stepniak, as Broussard comes back for the mumps, he's got the mumps. Last home game before the Christmas holiday. Hurricanes, as Tripp pointed out, at Madison Square Garden tomorrow night, at New Jersey on Tuesday. Ryan McDonough coming all the way back, paired with Dan Girardi as they play catch in the Rangers zone, out to center ice. New York on the attack. Fished in the zone by Rick Nash. He gets after it. Through the blue and out. Zuccarello was lurking at the top of the crease, and it comes out to Victor Rask. This is a huge challenge and an exciting one for Victor Rask's line, playing with Falcon Secure against Rick Nash, maybe the hottest scorer in the league. Now Bussard over the line. Sakara's on him. All alone, Nash! And the pass intended for Ryan McDonough well up on the play. Broussard in front. Great save by Ward off Zuccarello. And the Hurricanes survive. What a stop by Cam Ward. Broussard steps in. Shies away from the hit from Gleason. Kevin Klein, Zuccarello now to the corner. Mikhail Jordan for Carolina. Looking for Jay McClement, who is dominant in the face-off circle against Toronto. Justin Shug, who almost scored his first NHL goal Thursday night, has the puck in the zone, greeted by Dominic Moore, and it skips out. You have to know the situation. Skinner has to know after that push and good quality chances from New York. That's not the time to be creative at the offensive blue line. He's got to get deep. Now it's moved by Jesper Foss. Young Swede on the fourth line, and he's been playing well. Gleason goes D to D. Yordan in control. Holding on to it. The turning stick of Jay McClement. He's on the way out. McClement given a shove by Dominic Moore in on Henrik Lundqvist. Lundqvist will move it now to the corner. Stahl hit hard. That was Mark Stahl hit by Brad Malone. Malone diligent on the wall. To the point. Folk with a shot body down. Lundqvist. He got a skate to it. The follow up by Eric Stahl. Now skate to six, San Luis, and away they go. Step on, whips it across for Kreider. He can fly. He's taken down by Belmore. They go to the corner. Brett Belmore gets help from Nathan Gerby, not out. Mark Stahl with a shot caught by Cam Ward. 
Belmore, second game back. He's going to have a nice challenge tonight. Good shift for him. Let's watch McDonough, the Ranger captain, what he does by driving the net on this shift. Good move to the middle from Broussard. Two guys go to one, Lindholm and Sakara. That leaves Nash, the guy you don't want open. And then Matt Zuccarello, truly the pride of Norway, not a hockey-rich nation, and he's made it that. And Cam Ward with an early save in the slot. Had a great year last season. Outstanding throughout the playoffs. This team made it all the way to the Stanley Cup final. Losing a hard-fought series, a series closer than most anticipated or saw against the Los Angeles Kings. A reminder, this season, PNC Arena installed a state-of-the-art lighting system using LED technology developed and manufactured by Durham One, North Carolina-based Cree Incorporated. You know, John, if the Hurricanes are going to win this game, they're going to need a big edge in the face-off circle. And Riley Nash, for instance, at 51%, is going to go against uh, Hayes, former first-rounder of the Chicago Blackhawks, Kevin Hayes. He's only 34%. Stephon, 44%. Miller, 40 And then you have more at 54 So the Canes should have a big edge at the dot. Kevin Hayes out of Boston College. Highly sought after himself as a free agent coming out of college. It comes all the way back. Along the boards now, knocked down, controlled by Patrick Dwyer. He takes a seat. Run down to the ice by Mark Stahl. Three on two come the Rangers. Carl Haglin with a shot easily detected by Cam Ward. Belmore over skates in back of the goal. They battle now along the end wall. Punched all the way back to the point. Mark Stahl. He'll settle it down. He'll move it for Carl Haglin. In deep now. They grind a cycle all the way back to the point. Dan Boyle across now for Mark Stahl. Inside for Haglin looking for J.T. Miller. Miller hit by Ron Hainsey. Now in support, Kevin Haynes out in front off the paddle of Ward. Hack and rack time. Ward says no. A dandy on Carl Haglin. That was cat-like. Cam Ward, after using the stick very effectively, never saw the shot at the end and just made a reflex save. Miller has been very, very good as Coach Elaine Pino was raving about him. Product of the U.S. Development Program in Ann Arbor. Watch the save right there. Cam never saw it. He never saw it. Watch his body language here. See that? It's, it's because his gloves are top of the pad, too. So it's quickness and mechanics that allow him to stop that uh, shot. Off the draw now. Moved by Tim Gleason for Mikhail Jordan. Indirect pass out to neutralize. Elias Lindholm had eight shots against Toronto in that win. He'll get it deep. Rangers in control. Derek Stepan, a long pass unattainable for Marty St. Louis. Here's Victor Rask. He'll scale it ahead. Now in a foot race with Derek Stepan. Stepan reverses for Girardi, who pins it along for Kreider. St. Louis, two on one with Derek Stepan. The pass rejected by Tim Gleason. And back out to the center zone. Carolina on the attack. Skinner dancing. Holding on to it, Jeff Skinner. Tough angle. And it goes off the glove hand of Lundquist, and now it's played here by Dan Girardi. With four checking by Skinner off the back side of the net. Played by Ryan McDonough. McDonough off the window. All the way back in Kane's ice. Boy, the Hurricanes are very fortunate there. Heck of a play from Girardi. The puck eventually getting up to San Luis. And then the two-on-one denial of the pass. The defenseman does the job. Give the goalie the shooter. And San Luis would probably like to shoot that puck. Matt Hunwick is hit hard that time on the way through by Brad Malone. Justin Shug out to center ice for Malone, detected by Hunwick. The Rangers now recoil. Moved by Kevin Klein. Chipped along the boards and in by Dominic Moore. Moore on his backhand out in front. Ward says no on Hunwick. What a stop again. It's a broken record. Klein with a shot off Hunwick. His shot goes astray. And it comes all the way back out to neutral ice. Cam Ward starting on time, I'd say. Boy, oh boy, this game could be 2-0 right now. The Rangers, four wins in a row. Haven't played since Tuesday. They're fresh, they're focused, and Cam has been the last line. He'll take a whistle here all day long. 13.51 left to go in the opening period. He's had three or four biggies so far. This a dandy and the latest off Matt Hunwick. Stick around. My bag was getting heavy last couple of weeks, so <laughs> it's time for him to get a little workout in, but he deserved it. He made some huge saves for us, and uh, uh, we owed him that one. Geico quote, Andre Sakara handing over the fireman's helmet to Cam Ward. Yeah, and it goes everywhere. We showed that picture in Montreal Tuesday night that, uh, you know, because the Hurricanes expect to win every night. 
And so, hopefully if they do tonight, Cam Ward might just give it back to himself based on the first uh, six minutes. Six shots, five belong to New York so far. John Tripp and Chantel with you as always. Tomorrow night, Madison Square Garden, same two teams. Rick Nash, wide of Ward. To the point, Dan Boyle. A wrister blocked in front by Sakara. Justin Falk. Back out to center ice. He encumbers Elias Lindholm, and Mark Stahl is on it. Through center ice, over the stick of Derek Brassard, and all the way back. Boy, whether it be McDonough early, Hunwick on uh, a recent play, the Ranger defense were jumping on the attack. Ron Hainsey, Eric Stahl, negated at the D by Ryan McDonough. Here comes Kevin Hayes, holding on to it. All the way in, Ward! Holds the short side, it's loose! Side of the goal! Dug out by Hayes, jamming with Carl Hagman. Hayes to the outside. Now he's in the corner. Kevin Hayes off Eric Stahl. Carl Hagman in back of the goal. Girardi is calling for it. Hagman stopping and starting. Dealing away for Hayes. Kevin Hayes to the outside. Out of the reach of Carl Hagman. Here come the Hurricanes. Two on one. Gerby and Terry. Terry scores! Chris Terry set up beautifully by Nathan Gerby. And the Hurricanes are off and running. Okay, he's going to set it up, and eventually, right here, he's going to score. Five men coming down to help out because the Rangers were surging. A pass to no one because New York had had a defenseman down low. Hagelin trying to get back to help McDonough can't do so. And after the Hurricanes literally had the SOS kit, of all SOS kits, perfectly execute a two-on-one. And Chris Terry has his second goal of the year against New York. Boy, oh boy, McDonough would typically play a two-on-one a little bit better than that. What a feed there from Gerby over to Terry. They're going to make sure that uh, play right. beforehand, that puck didn't go in the net. That's right. And that's exactly what Brad Watson is doing right now. He's working tonight with Rob Martell. The situation room in Toronto has called the goal right now, Chris Terry. That's unofficial because out of the skirmish involving Cam Ward and just about everybody else, maybe the puck went in. Yeah, from up here, I thought it was very close, and then I said to myself, boy, the Hurricanes might just get that first one because they should be down at this point, and they might just have puck luck. Let's watch here. It's gonna squibble between the legs of Cam and hits his right heel. Right now, if you're a Hurricanes fan, which we hope you are, it's all good. Still all good. It's all good. This is gonna be one nothing Hurricanes. Here's the interpretation from Mr. Watson, I presume. Thank you, Sherlock. <laughs> Here we go. The video replay was checking to see if New York's shot on goal had crossed the goal line. After video replay, it had not. Carolina's goal counts. I, I would have to, it's a, listen, it's a perfectly executed two-on-one. Verbi, two assists the other night against Toronto. Terry uh, riding his nice night against the Leafs, too. But I'd say that first goal is unassisted by Cam Ward. I agree. Out to center ice. Zach Boychuk feeds it ahead. Lundquist now will move it. Top of your screen, it's Chris Kreider. Checked by Patrick Dwyer. It squirts out. And as we see Tim Gleason in control, the Hurricanes when scoring first. There's the mark. Now Hunwick will dump it ahead. Gleason wins the foot race. Nathan Gerby gets the only assist on Terry's second in his many games. His sixth of the season. And it comes at 7.20. Out of the corner, San Luis. Kreider sends it deep. Derek Stepan out in front off the stick of Tim Gleason. Jordan had it, lost it. The Rangers get after it. Derek Stepan goes deep. San Luis camped out. Jordan wins the battle, has the puck, and away they go. I think the Hurricanes have to start making better decisions at the offensive blue line. The Rangers have had a really good start, even though they're down. But don't give it to them by not managing it in critical areas. Jesper Faust chokes that one off. Ward had a weight in the trapezoid, couldn't play it. Malone along the boards now. Faust for the Rangers, a tight turn. Inside it goes Ward, tough angle, good stop by Ward. 
Shug tries to clear. Now Jay McClement for Carolina. It goes by Tanner Glass and all the way back in the Rangers zone. Can Justin Shug play his third good game in a row in his young NHL career? His first three games, all original six teams. I mean, that's tremendous. Dominic Moore flattened at dead center by Brad Malone. Just about nine minutes gone in the first period. Andre Sakara for the Canes. Gets it ahead on and off the stick of Justin Shug. A good look at Dan Boyle. He'll reverse. Brassard is there and so is Mark Stahl. Derek Brassard out of the corner. Holding onto it now as the Hurricanes peel back in the center zone. Brassard brings it along. He'll negotiate over center ice. Clear it ahead. Back first. Elias Lindholm to the open corner. Fault on the wall. Victor Rask. He'll knock it down. Retreat in his own zone, and the Hurricanes can reorganize. Sakara, a stretch pass off Girardi. Offside was Lindholm, and now they tag up. Out to neutralize Matt Zuccarello for the Rangers. Hands it off to Dan Girardi and gets it back. He lost his edge. He gets it ahead. Sakara, his pass unattainable for Jeff Skinner, and icing is called here against Carolina. Should the Canes score three or more tonight, get a free large pizza when you buy a large regular price pizza online at participating Papa John's the day after the Canes score three or more. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John. Boy, the second beautifully executed two-on-one. It was Dwyer to Falk for a shorthanded goal. There was a saucer pass. There, Gerby just waited for McDonough to back up where he could actually find an area he had just been. Right. Terry on his offside, easier to finish with a purpose, and Lundqvist is quick getting across, couldn't get there. Another chance for the Hurricanes, it's Eric Stahl moving up, his shot fought off by Lundqvist. Chris Terry through the blue and out. Jordan snaps it off the stick of Carl Haglund. Chris Terry overskates that one. JT Miller gets to it. The Rangers buzz out. Kevin Hayes hands it off to Carl Haglund. He'll scoop it ahead. Jordan paired with Gleason. This is Gleason in the corner. Haglund is on him. Carl Haglund to the outside. To the point now they go low to high. Mark Stahl inside for Hayes. Hayes holding onto it. He'll stop and start on young Jordan. He'll stay with him. Kevin Hayes from his knees. Coughed it up to Tim Gleason. And the Hurricanes now look to break out. Broken up by Carl Haglund. Mark Stahl. Fought off that time by Chris Terry. They get a change, and the Rangers jump on another loose puck in the center zone. Here comes J.T. Miller on the off wing. He'll cut. He's corralled by Tim Gleason, and it's laid all the way back in Rangers ice. Everything was good there for Chris Terry, the goal scorer. You know, making a play along the boards to relieve pressure, get it out. And then still right now, even up 1-0, I don't think Kirby needs to go east-west. Keep the puck moving upstream. In the center zone, laid ahead. Hainsey coming back ahead of Derek Stepan. Stepan in the corner. Ron Hainsey draped over him. Kreider, Hunwick with a shot. Sanoli high slot, gave it away. Broken up here by Zach Boychuk. He pins off Sanoli, and a penalty is upcoming. And it will be against the New York Rangers. I believe it's Marty Sanoli. He goes for hooking. Game power play when we come back. 8.45 left in the first. Chris Terry with the goal. I'm with coach Steve Smith. Andre Sakura and Justin Falk are tasked with shutting down the top opposing team lines, and tonight they're facing Derek Broussard. What makes your top duo so effective together? Well, they haven't been so effective tonight. They've had a bit of a tough time. They haven't uh, managed the puck very well in their end, and we haven't uh, found our loose guys in front of the net, so they're going to have to be better. But uh, overall, they have been really good for us this year. They've been a pleasure to watch. They work hard. They're physical, and they move the puck, and they select their plays really well. So they get back to that, and we'll have more success as we go through this game. Thank you. You're welcome. The Canes have their first power play. You saw Marty Saint-Louis in the box at 11.15. There are the numbers. Duke Energy power play notes on both sides of the equation. Carolina guilty of icing. We see the penalty that put Mr. Saint-Louis in the penalty box. Well, remember I had just mentioned there is... Look at that yellow stick up on uh, Boychuk's hands because that Boychuk, instead of going across the ice with what I call an east-west pass, manages it nicely and keeps it going upstream. Simple hockey, hard-working hockey, draws a power play. Ranger penalty killing on the road at number 11. Carolina tied for 16th at home. Carolina 2 for 18 in the last five with their power play. The Rangers have killed off 10 of 11 in the same time period. Here they come, Rick Nash. Off a of body, off Andre Sakara. And Nash has been something else in all situations, but especially shorthanded. Now Sakara holding onto it. Andre Sakara out to center ice, on and off the stick of Chris Terry. 
Henrik Lundqvist plays it himself off the glass. Out to neutralize Dominic Moore. Tied up with Justin Falk. 7.50 left to go in period one. Chris Terry has the goal, and the Hurricanes have an early lead. Dominic Moore moves up for the Rangers. He's defended by Victor Rask, who drops it back to Justin Falk. Well, he's fun to watch, Victor Rask, playing these one-on-one -on -one situations, the point of the power play very comfortably. A loose puck, Gerby, Rask, he'll go wide, wrap it off a stick, it went off Tanner Glass, Mark Stahl is back. Riley Nash for Carolina, hard around this way, Victor Rask, he'll trap the zone, point to point, Falk, here it comes, he got underneath it. Now it's played in the corner by Riley Nash, given a rough ride that time by Kevin Klein. Tanner Glass, 15 in white, tries to dig it out. Elias Lindholm is right there. There's the evidence. They continue the scrum. Out of the pile up, it's loose to the point. Grass holding onto it, walking the line. Little saucer feed for Gerby. Gerby advances, side of the goal. Lindholm off the paddle of Lundqvist. And the Rangers out to center ice. Tanner Glass, Kevin Klein for the front. Glass with a shot blocked. It's loose, and the block was from Victor Rask. And he decided not to take a chance at the offensive blue line Rask because he thought Tanner Glass might get to it first. And eventually what could have been a breakaway if he got caught becomes a two-on-two -two and he gets in the shooting lane. You just see the cerebral nature and knowing where the game's at by Rask. No shots in the power play. Going down, Derek Stepan getting a rise from the crowd here at DNC Arena. Justin Falk away now for Jay McClennett, shouldered by Dan Girardi on the way out. Ryan McDonough cuts across, hampered by McClement. Now step on. Cross ice pass. Chris Kreider in the zone with a shot sealed off by Cam Ward. Should the Canes score in the power play tonight, Kaniacs who say the winning phrase receive a free Bowberry biscuit from participating Bojangles restaurants tomorrow morning. Bojangles, it's boat time. Boy, Chris Terry, who had an excellent game against the Rangers, actually played the point on the power play and carried the puck up the ice that particular night. Then he got hurt, conditioning stick, looked really good against Toronto. And, uh, boy, he's had a good first period, even aside from his goal. He's been a guy that I think has made the smart play virtually every shift he's been on here this opening period. And this is an opportunity he has to take advantage of. It's the best he's ever been given at this level, and he has to make good. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's cliche, but very true. You only get so many chances, and, uh, you know, every chance could be your last. And I'm, I'm curious to see what he'll do with Eric Stahl, what kind of chemistry they could have. Mm -hmm. Sakara out of the corner. The captain has it. He had two helpers in the win over Toronto. Through center ice, Falk moving up. He was broken up on the way through. Terry got a deep, so Carolina can get a line change here with 5.35 left in period one. Mark Stahl on the wing, brought out to center ice, and taking a seat that time was Kevin Hayes, and again, Brad Malone with three big hits in this period. Brett Belmore, forechecked by J.T. Miller. Belmore clears it out to center off the linesman, and Carolina gets a second crack at it right here. Ainsey. D to D for Belmore. A quick up out of the reach of Elias Lindholm all the way back. McDonough's on it for the Rangers. Well, it's amazing how, how infrequently the linesmen get hit with pucks like uh, the linesmen did there. That's how good they're positioning. Out in front, Skinner! What a save by Lundquist. As McDonough whipped it right out in front, right to Jeff Skinner. Kevin Hayes over the line. Jordan is on him. Stopping as J.T. Miller, he lost his edge. Carolina double teams him. Kevin Hayes now for the Rangers, holding onto it. Inside, Chris Kreider goes to work, looking for Hayes. They don't connect. Matt Hunwick a pinch on Riley Nash, and the Hurricanes get it out. Kevin Klein ahead of Jeff Skinner, who stays tough on him. In the neutral zone, Tim Gleason throws it in. Boy, the Hurricanes have settled down. Even though they didn't score on that power play, they've settled down. Here's a steal, Patrick Dwyer. Turns it to the outside, kicked out by Lundqvist. Now Sakara busting in on a pinch. Buck is there for the taking. Matt Hunwick is on it. Four checked by Boychuk. Sanlui. Here's footsteps. It's Dwyer. And out to center ice. The Hurricanes man the puck. Justin Falk broken up. Marty Sanlui for the front. Kreider. Here's the pass. The shot. Oh, got a piece of it. Kreider again. Out in front. All the way back. Mark Stahl. Here it comes. Blocked. Step on. A chance. Ward said no. And the Hurricanes get it out. 
This is spectacular goaltending. Spectacular goaltending. Again, a freebie because Falk takes the chance. Shouldn't take a chance when Marty San Luis is just sitting there waiting for the turnover to happen. Belmore on the flank. Carried out. Headman pass for Brad Malone. He'll thread it ahead. Lundquist out to play it. He turns it over to Brad Malone. Out in front. Nobody home. Negated. Tanner Glass had it. Lost it. Now Dominic Moore back at his own zone. He'll crank it up. 3.15 left to go in this first period. An exciting first 20 minutes here in Raleigh. The Rangers with 10 shots on Cam Ward. The Hurricanes with five and the goal from Chris Terry. Long lead pass. Hainsey ahead of Dominic Moore. Moore out of the corner. Eric Stahl tries to move it. Tanner Glass. Dominic Moore. Ryan McDonough. His shot detected by Cam Ward. 2.55 left to go in the opening period. A period in large part that has belonged to Cam Ward. Here's another dandy on Chris Kreider. You're a young player and you have a good game. The next best thing, follow it up. And Chris Terry is doing that. And when you go from being a good player to an NHLer, you find, you know, consistency. Because that's the only way you stay in the league. And Chris Terry, you know, he scores a beautiful goal when it was all Rangers early. But then he comes out his next ship. You know, has some real courage along the wall in his own end to relieve pressure. Keeps the puck moving in a direct manner. He will be Tripp's guest at the top of the PNC Bank first intermission. Now, Dan Girardi. Broken up by Andre Sequeira, Justin Falk. Played just about 25 minutes Thursday night. A goal and an assist. Zuccarello sends it wide. That's Zuccarello gets to it. They play it along the boards on Sequeira. Falk reads the play, kicks around Brassard. In the slot, good stick by Rask. Brassard winds it wide of Cam Ward. Lurking is Rick Nash. Nash holding onto it. Inside for Zuccarello. In deep, Brassard a stick battle with Rask. Forked out in front. Carolina back to the house. Skinner one on one. Girardi is back. He'll dance. He's in. A shot shut down by Lundquist. Now in deep, Lindholm broken up by Ryan McDonough. He along with Skinner on the forecheck. Elias Lindholm to the outside. Hainsey punches one. It deflects wide. Skinner had his stick tied up that time by Ryan McDonough. And the Rangers start ahead. Boy, that was uh, pretty darn nifty. Balance-driven one-on-one move by Skinner. Terry sends it in. Lundquist out to play it. He'll move it for Carl Haglund. Haglund moves it by Eric Stahl. Kevin Hayes on the gallop over the line. To the outside, a shot taken that time goes wide thanks to J.T. Miller. Dan Boyle off Eric Stahl. Chris Terry now for the Hurricanes. Gave it away to Dan Boyle. The Rangers with about 25 left to go in the period. Kevin Hayes cross corner dump in. Along the wall, Carl Haglund takes a hit to make a play. Tim Gleason by Miller. Chipped along, not out. Held in. Hayes sets up Haglund. It's blocked by Ron Hainsey. Indirect pass for Eric Stahl. And away they go, Nathan Gerby. Stahl's the trailer. Gerby gets room. He'll drag it. Defended by Dan Boyle. And the Rangers now clear it back out. Too fancy, I think, when you only have six shots on net. You know, Gerby, if he, if he shoots to Lundquist's glove side, specifically the pass, he's got two guys going to net. Stahl and Terry are there for Reba. Unwick. Lays it ahead. Falk in control. D to D with Gleason. 45 seconds left in the period. In the center zone. Carolina gets it back. Hunwick is on it here. Matt Hunwick throws on the brakes. He's paired with Kevin Klein. Rangers in control. Stretch pass. It's San Luis. Over the line for Derek Stepan. Stepan with a shot. Off the stick. Off Sakara And out of play. I think Skinner has gotten dialed in as this period has gone along. Had a tough turnover early, and now against Dan Girardi, who's having an outstanding year. Dan Girardi does not get turned like this very often. Two OHL products, and Lundquist is able to, you know, just hold his ground as Skinner shot after that dazzling move was from a sharp angle. Just under 30 seconds left in the period. Off the draw now. Eric Brassard and Victor Rass. Bill Peters told us in Hurricanes Live that the 21-year-old Swede would see a lot of Mr. Brassard and his line mates tonight. Matt Zuccarello, Rick Nash. Nash in control. It's loose. Transitioned by Jeff Skinner. Moving up on Girardi. Zuccarello. Stretch pass off a stick off Sakara. 
Getting to it is Rick Nash, out in front, negated by Sakara to the corner fault. Hauled down by Zuccarello. Six seconds left in the period, Brassard to the point. Girardi goes wide, one second, too late. Chris Terry will be Trip Tracy's guest. We kick off the PNC Bank first intermission after the break. Inside a Hurricane Holiday Card bloopers, no bloopers, for Cam Ward in period one. Hurricanes on a goal by Chris Terry have the lead. We're back here in Raleigh. Chris Terry of the Carolina Hurricanes has the only goal of the contest so far. And scoring the first goal is vitally important, always has been in the National Hockey League. You take a look at situation after one when trailing for the Rangers and when leading for the Hurricanes. They've had a hard time getting in front of games, but have played well when they have. Yeah, and it, as they say in golf, it's when you make a birdie, it's not how, but how many. And the bottom line is they do have a one nothing lead. And that's five of their nine wins total. Now Belmore, out of the reach of Eric Stahl, top of your screen. Martin San Louis out to center by Chris Kreider. Same two teams play tomorrow night in New York. Cam Ward makes that easy stop off the stick of Derek Stepan. Let's take a look at the first period numbers brought to you by Buffalo Brothers. Oh man, now I want wings. Well, you look at the, the scoring chances and they favor the Rangers and you know, I think that that could even be more one-sided. That's how good Ward was. And what I like that Cam did, you could see, and, and this has been very noticeable, that he feels the tempo of a game. He'll slow it down when his team doesn't have momentum. And he tried to every chance he could get in that first period. We will kick off our coverage with Hurricanes live from Madison Square Garden starting at 6.30 tomorrow night. John Forslund, Trip Tracy, Chantel McCabe along with our crew. Two on one, Lynn Holman Skinner is shot, sealed off by Henrik Lundqvist. Now getting to it in the Rangers zone, Mark Stahl in the skates of Rath. Skinner's shot negated by Dan Boyle to the point, Fulk swings it across. Andre Sakara, here it comes, stopped by Lundqvist. Lindholm attempts to play it to himself, he centers one. He gets it back, he's entangled with Mark Stahl. Andre Sakara awaiting the puck. He hammers one wide. Looking for a tip. Folk off the end wall by Lindholm. Good sequence here for Carolina. Zuccarello hard around for Rick Nash. And the Rangers start again. The Hurricanes very fortunate. They had two guys come on the ice at the same time. Nash moves up. It leaks through the glove hand of Cam Ward. Now Sakara out to center ice. Kevin Hayes on a line change for the Rangers. Gets back up. He's bottled up by Victor Rask. The puck lay loose. Matt Hunwick. Over the line, J.T. Miller. Back for Hunwick, denied by Justin Falk. Malango one away for Victor Rask. And away go Carolina. Victor Rask off the stick of Henrik Lundqvist. J.T. Miller thwarted. On the way back by Patrick Dwyer. Carl Haglin for New York. Good look there. Jordan is back for the Hurricanes. Haglin moves it. Hayes at his side. Kevin Hayes grinding along the boards. Nicole Jordan for Carolina. Broken up, choked off. Jordan gets it again. And Carolina will escape harm. Tim Gleason now sends it off a glass support. Brad Malone, who was physical in period one. Played here by Matt Hunwick. Moving down the wall, Jay McClement for Justin Shove. He takes a hit to make a play, but good support by New York's Kevin Klein. And away they go. Carl Haglin from J.T. Miller will dump it off the blocker of Cam Moore. And the other thing, when you get in front of the game, you, you feel more of a, an ability to play four lines. And as I say virtually every night, you can't win in this league these days without playing four. Rangers would have been offside. They think twice. They tag up. Just about three minutes gone in the second period. Here's Brett Belmore. They'll move it back for Ron Hainsey as they start again. A little chip by Zach Boychuk. Henrik Lundqvist reverses. It's the second time Lundqvist has nullified an icing by coming out on a puck that would have been icing and the lines would have been right on it to uh, wave him off. Dominic Moore for the Rangers. Top of your screen. Off the stick of Hainsey. It goes astray. Ryan McDonough sends it deep. Jesper Faust is there. Now moving up quickly. Dan Girardi. Crunched by Hainsey. Dominic Moore turns. Shoots one. Picked off by Cam Warren. Remember, uh, you and I have talked about it. Let's look uh, at Lynn Holm. His first visit to Madison Square Garden last year, he said it would be a dream to score on Lundquist, and he'd love to go top cheese. Here he creates the two-on-one. Lundquist plays very big. You know, he is 6'1". I don't think a lot of people recognize that Lundquist is 6 feet, 
one inches tall. Lindholm did get one on him late last year. 2012 Vesna Trophy winner. Henrik Lundqvist now stall. Mark Stahl turning San Luis off a body blocked by Sakara. Mark Stahl ahead of Nathan Gerby. Derek Stepan in the center zone for the Rangers broken up. Good play by Terry now Gerby. Nathan Gerby shot swallowed by Henrik Lundqvist. Let's take a look at tonight's storm tracker. Well, the one I want to talk about right now, and it's in the rearview mirror, the Hurricanes have a one nothing lead, is another strong first period. And more plus play from Falk and Sakara. And Rick Nash is out of a goal score with 20 as there is in the league. Bill Peters was worried that after an excellent first period, he said, we're going to find out if there's any correlation with the morning skate because he did not like this morning skate. He loved it at the practice rink before the excellent first period against Toronto. So he said they were going to find out if there's any connection. And unfortunately, I think he's starting to think there is a connection if you don't have it in the morning. Yeah. Now along the boards. Controlled now. Neither team will have an opportunity. At least Carolina won't because Madison Square Garden is occupied tomorrow until these two teams play tomorrow night. Now it's carried out by Ryan McDonough. He'll snap it ahead. It goes free. Right along now. Zuccarella broke it up and it's carried out here by Victor Rask. Rask in control. On the flank, Elias Lindholm. Dan Boyle is on him. Rask looks around. He's defended by Ryan McDonough and a penalty is upcoming. Now, Victor, don't you like this? Young players like they did against Toronto. Now, the Carolina was excellent in the first period. This line was a big part of establishing the momentum. Then in the third, when the Leafs were coming on, Rask with Skinner Lindholm got it back. So now the Hurricanes have had a better second period after a rough first, and this line's been right in it. Lindholm, a two-on-one we just replayed. And now with hard work, Rask draws a hold on a very important range of penalty kill. Second power play for Carolina. They did not have a shot with opportunity number one. Riley Nash. Makes it off against Dominic Moore. Victor Rask with a heavy shot blocked by Dominic Moore. Falk inside for Lindholm. He'll center one off the stick. The Rangers do a good job in front of Lundqvist. And it's lugged out here by Dominic Moore. Carl Haglin bouncing one in off Cam Ward. Played by Riley Nash. Uh, winning faceoffs on power plays. That is something that Carolina has done with absolute regularity virtually all of this season. Falk now will send it in. Rick Nash moved along by Dan Girardi. Corralled by Derek Stepan. And away they go, shorthanded. Nash over the line. Moving up on Lindholm. Ward got a piece. Nash again. He'll grind it all the way back. Off the stick of Rask. Played here by Rick Nash, an excellent job shorthanded. Now Nathan Gerby for Carolina at dead center. Remember Mike Babcock decided to use Rick Nash killing penalties in the Olympics. Actually gave a heads up to Elaine Vigno before Sochi and said, would you, would you please try him there? Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm thinking about using him in the Olympics and it's just made him more of a complete player since. New center ice and all the way back, Eric Stahl. Taps it back where they can reorganize with that much time left on their second power play. Chris Terry has the game's only goal. He'll dump it in. Girardi for Tanner Glass. And the product of Dartmouth College will send it all the way back. And the first Ranger to get the mumps before Broussard and now Lee Stepniak. Out to center ice. They put Stepniak in isolation. Their minor league coach, Hartford Wolfpack, American League. Ken Jernander has it too. In the corner, Dominic Moore. Now Patrick Dwyer. It's a little help from Eric Stahl. And the Canes have only six seconds left in the power play. Here's Andre Sakara. They'll look around. Gain entry. Eric Stahl. This way, Skinner. He'll dangle. Out of the box, McDonough. Skinner holding onto it. He sets up Ron Hainsey. Looking for a tip, none available. Now Skinner wipes it wide off the glove of Mark Stahl. Kevin Klein having an outstanding season out to center ice. Yeah, and playing a lot with Mark Stahl because Dan Boyle was injured in the first game of the year. He struggled a little bit. Klein has, you know, he has 10 points. And he's played very, very well. He has six goals and three of those game winners, two in overtime. Now it's played here by Brad Malone. Malone cuts his shot. Turned out by Lundqvist. Zuccarello is away. 
He'll sweep it across for Rick Nash. Derek Broussard, cut off by Ward and covered up. Little disturbance. Rick Nash getting involved with Brett Belmore. Derek Broussard comes in for the Rangers. They will separate. 13.03 left to go in the second period. That one goal. The goal scored by Chris Terry and Durian One standing up for the Hurricanes. Back in the second, it's 1-0 Canes. And on Thursday, Jay Harrison was traded to the Winnipeg Jets. And he'll be missed in this locker room just for his leadership and how much of a presence he had in the locker room. His teammates called his personality quirky. And it wasn't just how he helped the young defensemen. It was began far beyond that. And Brett Belmore played his very first game paired with him. And the advice that Jay gave was to take in all the sights, sounds, and the smells. He gave it up to all rookies, and his presence will certainly be missed with this team after six seasons with the Hurricanes, guys. Well, we wish Jay uh, the best of luck. Uh, off to a good start with a big win uh, the Jets had over Boston last night. And really, for me, more than anything, it was the rise of Mikel Jordan since his recall that, you know, makes that deal possible. And Jay had another year in his contract next year. Gives Ron Francis more flexibility. 12.53 left to go in the second period. John Tripp and Chantel with you as always tomorrow night from New York's Madison Square Garden. Chris Kreider holding on to it. Final game before the Christmas break will be Tuesday night from Prudential Center in New Jersey. Step on shot and a nice upright save on his knees by Cam Ward. You know, John, saves are saves, but sometimes your stick is equally as important. And before we roll in here, excuse me for that. <laughs> the arrow's perfect. Now I want you to watch Mikel Jordan. He cannot go behind the net here. He's got to look and see Hagel. And he sees too late. And it's the stick of Cam Ward that prevents what would have been a grade-A chance. And you don't get a registered save for that, but it's key. Very much so. Shots 18-11 New York, as we see. Lassard wins it back. Nash with a shot, caught by Ward. And that's the other thing, Tripp. And he's good at Bill Peters has talked to us about it, getting the draws at the right time. Well, because his team should have a major advantage against the Rangers if you look at the numbers of all four centermen on both teams. And the Hurricanes are a little bit better here in this second period, but they're still trying to locate their game. So slow it down whenever you can. Right. Rangers are 28th in terms of face-off acumen. Carolina number seven in that regard as we start play tonight. Nathan Gerby. On Mark Stahl, you see it from ice level. Turning stick of Derek Brassard. Brought along by Rick Nash. His shot, read by Ward, a juicy rebound. Terry had it, lost it. Getting to it, Eric Stahl. And away they go, two on two. Justin Fault, Nathan Gerby. Mark Stahl, back for the Rangers. Off the backside of the goal, Gerby. Eric shot, what a stop by Lundqvist. Wow. I can make a couple glove saves if I'm Cam Ward, and the guy they call the king, wouldn't you love to have that nickname, John? Well, then I can make a glove save that looks even better. This was an awesome save. Falk jumping in, coming off a two-point night against Toronto. And I said a few minutes ago, people don't realize that Henrik Lundqvist is 6-1. I watched him in warm-up. He spends a good portion of warm-up just standing by himself in the neutral zone. I think getting his mind where it needs to be and working on quickness drills like that one. What a save. Mm -hmm. Lundqvist now sends it along. We might see Cam Talbot tomorrow night. And we might see Anton Hudobin. But who knows? Now it's played along all the way back. Just think about that tonight, if you will. Now Patrick Dwyer in control over the line. Chris crosses with McClement, broken up by Matt Hunwick. Carl Haglund in control. He'll bounce it wide of Cam Ward. Kevin Hayes on McCall Jordan. Out of the corner, Haglund. J.T. Miller, good stick check by Patrick Dwyer. It's centered all the way across. Kevin Klein holding the puck on its edge wide. Loose to the corner. Carl Haglund goes to work. He'll grind for the Rangers. Hand it off to J.T. Miller. Kevin Klein, a deflection wide. It's loose. Brad Malone can't get to it. Corralled again by J.T. Miller, but picked off by Pat Dwyer. Taken down by Matt Hunwick. No call made. J.T. Miller broken up. Good job by Pat Dwyer. On the gallop, Victor Rask. Chopped ahead, broken up. And clear out by Hunwick. Now Skinner, Lindholm. Centers one in. Lundquist had it. Couldn't control it. Skinner along the wall. Rask holding. Looking for Belmore going down. Carl Haglund 
and it comes out. Boy, Dwyer after nearly drawing an interference call. Any young hockey player watching that's a defenseman or forward, that's the benefit of always keeping your stick on the ice. If he has to, you know, lower it, he doesn't get that turnover. Hunwick out of the corner. Step on, on the wall, San Luis lays it along for Chris Kreider. With his speed, he works in. You see it up close. Belmore, good job. San Luis for the Rangers, holding on to it. Marty San Luis will attempt to play it to himself. Carolina had a cluster of three there, but not out. San Luis jumps on it. He'll dance on Skinner. Throw on the brakes. Pickpocketed by Carolina's 53. He goes by Victor Rask. Girardi. Now McDonough. Looking for a screen. His shot. Pedal down Ward. To the corner. Marty San Luis sets up. Kreider. Ward got a piece of it now. Step on in back of the goal. On the flank. Kreider denied by Ward. Broken up by Victor Rask. And back out to center ice. I actually like the play Skinner made down low. Not to risk going to the middle of the ice. Keep it low risk by reversing it. And Victor Rask, a rare mistake. He couldn't get it out. That led to the chances. Icing will be called here. And a reminder, the Hurricanes have a great five-game flex pack. Starting at $125, choose from eight key matchups. Ranging from January to March, receive a $25 gift card to the eye. With each plan that is purchased, call 866-NHL-CANES or log on to carolinahurricanes.com slash tickets for details and to secure your seats now. Hurricanes' best face-off, man. I think this might be Jay McClellan's first draw of the night, according to the numbers. We're already in back of the goal. Boychuk is hounding him. Justin Shug for Carolina. McClennan, Jordan, around the clock, Gleason. A wrister, it goes high. Lundquist has his stick down. Boychuk dug it out. Mark Stahl is there on Shug. Good work along the boards by Justin Shug. Out of the corner, Mark Stahl takes over. Zach Boychuk cut across. Boychuk now, as this line provides some energy, it goes deep. Dan Girardi. Plays it along for Dominic Moore, and finally the Rangers slam it out. Faust in the zone, throws on the brakes. Jesper Faust, he'll wind it deep. Inside for Glass, who knocks down his man, and Tanner Glass will take a seat. Brad Watson indicates interference. 8.47 left to go in the second period. we we'll see the infraction when we come back. Carolina by one. Defensemen have to switch. It requires communication, and here it happens. Jordan misplays a puck, but hey, no big deal, because he and Gleason have the awareness to switch, and then Jordan draws the interference call from Tanner Glass, offensive zone penalty. Rangers have not had a power play. This is Carolina's third. You almost feel like you're getting to the point in a 1-0 game where you need something to show for it. They're still looking for their first shot with the power play so far tonight. Riley Nash. Elias Lindholm, Nathan Derby, Justin Falk, and Victor Rask. That's the first five-man unit for Bill Peters. Dug out here by Ryan McDonough. Pressed by Riley Nash. Laid along and out that time by Chris Kreider. Sent the length of the ice. Ward will play it in the trapezoid. Carl Haglin is on him. Now Victor Rask will sort it out for the Hurricanes. 825 as we see. Left to go in the second period. Chris Terry, the only goal, came in period one. Falk to the outside. McDonough back for the Rangers. You see it up close. Out of the corner. Snapped along by Ryan McDonough and all the way back out. Rangers scored a shorthanded goal in their last game like Carolina did in their last game. Haglin with his speed, the former Michigan Wolverine, flew the zone there. You might want to make sure you're looking. Rask over the line. The Hurricanes come in a five-man wave. And now it's played here by Rask all the way back to Riley Nash. Anticipating it. Rick Nash. Here he comes. He'll play it deep in the Carolina zone. Nash in back of Ward. Rick Nash centers one off the stick of Ward. Step on with a steal, and he's high-sticked. Justin Falk on him. That'll do it for the power play. I, I think the Rangers... I think they sense that Carolina's power play hasn't had a shot, so they got even more aggressive. First it was Haglin, and penalty. then step on and Nash. And they were, they were looking to apply pressure even down a man. See Nash take a look, takes a look twice. You wonder why he's playing so well this year. It's little details like that. And then Falk just isn't able to bear down and handle the puck. And has to hook a fellow Minnesota. Falk guilty of hooking step on. So Tanner Glass will await for the 54 seconds. Then it will be an abbreviated power play for the Rangers, their first tonight. 
They are tied for 20th and 16th on the road, and when Carolina gets to the kill, they are number 11. Skinner on and off his stick. Kevin Klein back the other way. On the boards, Haglin across it goes Hunwick. Turned out by Cam Ward. Carl Haglin along the boards, negated by Mikhail Jordan. Jordan takes over. He'll lug it out. 24-year-old defenseman sets up Eric Stahl. He'll lift it ahead. Jordan pays a price. It's loose as we see. Dan Boyle, Eric Stahl. Boyle has it off a stick. Corralled by Eric. Now Skinner. He'll turn. Wheel backhand wide. Eric Stahl. Back for Skinner. Off the stick of Hunwick. Moving up. Andre Sakara. Sakara holding onto it away from Haglin. His shot tipped high off the stick of Dan Boyle. The Rangers get to it. Tanner Glass is out of the box. He will go right to the bench. He's replaced on the power play now as the Rangers bring it forward. Their first tonight. Cam Ward out to play it. Tim Gleason rifles one along the wall and out. Talk about Cam Ward's stick. That was a key play. Rangers first power play. He gets out not only to stop the puck, but recognizes that the right play is to reverse the flow to Gleason for the easy out. Icing called here against the Rangers. 6.24 left in the second period. Boy, I mean, I just uh, can't help but admire the evolution in Cam Ward's puck handling. I would have to think that Gleason called for it. And he said, you know, reverse, reverse. Right. And all of a sudden, instead of the Rangers' power play going to work, they've got to go all the way back down, try to get entry again. Now they're, you know, back for another faceoff. Ainsy he holding onto it. He'll lift it ahead off the shoulder of Dan Boyle, who locates the puck. Boyle now holding onto it. He and Marty St. Louis, teammates, winning a Stanley Cup in Tampa Bay in 04. Brassard now in control. At the line, it's Boyle. Boyle away from McClement. They work it around. Derek step on back to the point. Boyle, he'll walk the line. Settle the puck down. Dan Boyle moving away from Jay McClement. He'll wind it down deep. Lay it along for Derek Brassard. Brassard to the outside. St. Louis, step on. Locked in front. Patrick Dwyer gets to it. And he clears it in the Ranger bench. Coors Light. Cold hard facts. We'll take a look at our first installment tonight. That is Justin Falk, believe it or not. And we will take a look at some history that he's involved in by scoring a shorthanded goal the other night. His second goal of the season shorthanded, joining the likes of Mike Commodore, Sandus Ozelinch in Kane's history as defensemen who have done that. And speaking of Falk, if, if Rask can win this cleanly and they can hard rim it, almost to the right bottom portion of your screen. He's got five seconds left in his penalty. You, yeah. He might get another chance. JT Miller loses the draw to Victor Rath. Everybody's after it. McDonough at the point. Falk is out of the box. Ryan McDonough sets up a man. Now it's wheeled by Miller along the flank for Zuccarello. Good stop by Ward. Zuccarello gets to it. He'll drag it. That's Zuccarello working Andre Sakara. He'll grind it down deep. He gets support from Miller. Kreider's out in front. Belmore on him. And now at the top of your screen, it's Victor Rask. And away go the Hurricanes out to center. Victor Rask attempting to get back to it. Cut off by Dan Girardi, as we see right in front of that Carolina bench, with 5.08 left to go in the second period. And the Hurricanes just continue to have trouble, even when they have numbers of getting pucks deep. 15 minutes gone in the second period. You don't see a lot of these, but home and home series are exciting. These two teams will play again tomorrow night in New York. Now Gleason moved along. Kevin Hayes turning with it. Jesper Faust. Shot taken by Hagelin goes wide. Loose in back of the goal. Carolina gets to it. Jordan reverses. Tim Gleason in back of Ward. Faust is on him. He tackles Gleason. Eric Stahl moves it, and the Hurricanes get it out. Uh, nice second effort there from Gerby. Now first man pressure from Terry. Kevin Hayes, the rookie, coming all the way back for the Rangers. Mark Stahl, aired on defense in this situation with Kevin Klein. Mark Stahl now will feed it ahead. Cam Ward in the trapezoid. Moves it on the wall. Gerby. Wristing it all the way back in the Rangers zone. Mark Stahl gets control. Out to neutral ice. Both teams are changing. Jordan for Carolina with his head up. Turning with it is Skinner. A lead pass for McClement. Dan Boyle is there. You see it. Mark Stahl off McClement. At his side, Elias Lindholm. Dan Boyle for the Rangers. Out of the four-man scrum. It's moved back out to center ice by Matt Zuccarello. We see a foot race. Hainsey will get there for Carolina. 
as the Rangers come barreling in. 3.39 left in the second period. Jay McClement. This way it's Elias Lindholm. And getting to it is Ryan McDonough in his own zone. That's a good route from McClement playing in Victor Rash spot with uh, Skinner and Lindholm coming underneath the puck. Dan Girardi wiping one wide off the end wall. Joe Louis Arena style. It's carried out here by Jay McClement for Elias Lindholm over the line. Handing it off to Jeff Skinner. He sends it along the dasher. Dan Girardi gets to it. We're moving along the boards and all the way back. It hits someone along the bench. So a stoppage of play. 3.09 left to go in the second period. 1-0 Carolina. Caniacs, thank you very much for tuning into our telecast this season. From our Fox family to yours. Have a happy and safe holiday. John, back to you. Oh, Thank you, Jim Elia, our right. producer and our director. Pulled out the A-game shirt our producer yeah. did today, didn't he? Our director, Mike Roth, right next to yeah. him. The spin doctor. Rothy had Fabulous a, director. Rothy had more of a smile than Jimmy did. Yeah. But he's got to work on that. The smoothie of tape. Smoothie yes. was on the right side there, and then just a, a crew that it's a, it's a privilege to work with uh, here in Raleigh, because you know what you're going to get from them every night. We are blessed with a loyal, hardworking Absolutely professional crew here. Some of the best in the business as Cam Ward hangs on. Chris Kreider with that opportunity. 2.57 left in the second period. And they're hockey men, too. I mean, Jim Malia, there's Brad. He's, he, this guy's never worn a, a, anything but a T-shirt. It could be Antarctica. Neutral zone game, and he'd be wearing that T-shirt. Some of the cameramen, Johnny, boy, they do a job. Hey, that's our man Butch. He gave us the wave. Am I correct on that? I hope so. Thank you. I got the word from the truck that we're okay with that. Ron Hainsey now winds it back out to center ice. But year after year, they keep coming back to make these shows here in Raleigh the best they can be, and they are. And we concur with all of that, and we hope that all of you have a wonderful holiday season for all the right reasons as it comes all the way back in the zone. Icing is called here against Carolina, and the Carolina Ale House is the spot for cool bars. The next one on January the 19th. It's at a brand new location in downtown Raleigh. Canes will be in Toronto on that night. Log on to carolinahurricanes.com for more details. I don't know if Lindholm was tired. He could have challenged Hunwick for that uh, race to get to the dot where then the linesman has to determine who's going to play the puck first in hybrid icing. Now he really gave up on that play. Not like it. Rask wins it back. Belmore. Lindholm pressured by Ryan McDonough who has the puck. He'll lift it ahead. Victor Rask is on it. He'll settle it down, stay with it, and win that battle. Out to center ice, Lindholm, pestered by Dan Girardi, who looks it over. He goes D to D for his partner, Ryan McDonough. Derek Broussard at the line. He'll get it deep for the Rangers. Victor Rask will look around. Four check by Broussard. Rick Nash sees it go by him, pinching his McDonough. Loose along the boards, Rick Nash for the Rangers. Here he comes, he cuts, and rolls off his stick. McDonough lays it along, beams he now. Not out. Held in by Girardi. He gave it away to Skinner. It rolled off his stick, and now McDonough's on it, and the Rangers can reorganize. The Hurricanes are just having trouble handling pucks tonight. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it, 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 and players you expect to handle pucks with ease, usually. Here comes Matt Zuccarello. A tough angle off the paddle of Cam Ward. Chris Terry has the game's only goal. He goes down in a heap, and it's carried out here by Eric Stahl. Over the head of his brother Mark. Mark is on it. He'll move it. And Boyle now in control. Dominic Moore out to center ice. Here come the Rangers. And along that time by Jesper Foss. Getting to it, Mikhail Jordan. To the center zone, Gerby. Handing off to Eric Stahl. Eric now moving up on his brother. He throws on the brakes. Pedal down and a cover-up by Henrik Lundqvist. This was the defensive zone clean exit that the Hurricanes have been looking for all night. Nice uh, D to D pass, come underneath with the centerman. Winger takes the hit to make the play, and the defenseman drives the middle lane. Now, the Rangers played it very well, good coverage for them, sorting things out off the rush, but that was much cleaner for Carolina. Breather for Tim Gleason. With 109 left to go in the second period, Riley Nash. Face off one back by Dominic Moore. The Rangers start ahead with 24 shots. Carolina 13. Haglund's offside. So we get a break in play. 
Flying the zone a little bit. Haglund did it on an earlier uh, penalty killing situation. Then Nash and Stepan did it. Kreider likes to do it. And down one nothing. I expect the Hurricanes to see quite a bit of this in the third period. Bill Peters told us this morning, if a guy like Haglund flies the zone, you've got to go with it. It appears like they're doing it now more in a game where they're looking for a goal, but if they cheat too much, the Hurricanes can take advantage of that. They'll play right into their hands if they're strong through the middle. Now Dwyer off a stick, out of play. 50.3 seconds left in the second period. And Steve Smith, the big body that he is, had to be strong through the middle on that one. Because that puck got him, and now I'll look at him toss it to a nice Kaniac behind the bench. Not sure if Cam Ward caught that. Very nice gesture from Steve Smith. Edmonton Oilers Stanley Cup champion multiple times. He's made the odd appearance in Coach's Corner. He's becoming a big favorite as it's dumped in. Andre Sakar, maybe the biggest fan of it is Bill Peters that gets the night off. Well, refreshes Bill, and, and Steve keeps all of us uh, energized, but, you know, because he only gets filmed from the waist up, but he usually has a suit and tie on and shorts, or he's a big fan of going with no socks. He's a very preppy character. Maybe that's the reason why, but, boy, he puts in his time. He works very, very hard. What a job he's done with a penalty kill. And a great job. Now, the face-off controlled by Rask and sent back. Cam Ward's out to play it ahead of that icing line. 35 seconds left in the period. Skinner with a chip. He paid a price. He was hit by Girardi. And now the Hurricanes take over in the person of Ron Hainsey. Hainsey now goes D to D for Belmore. This way it's Elias Lindholm. Lindholm from center ice. Broken up by McDonough. Fed all the way back. Hainsey's on it. 17 seconds left in the period. Knocked down by Rask. He'll feed it ahead. It's a bouncer wide of Lundqvist. Girardi's on it. Nine seconds left in the period. Pawed down by Girardi. Carried out by Stepan. Maybe a final push. Good defense by Brett Belmore on Rick Nash at the horn. That'll do it. Brett Belmore will be Trip Tracy's guest. We have the PNC Bank second intermission. We also will take a look at NHL scores and highlights on a very busy Saturday night in the National Hockey League. So, Cam Moore, a big part of the situation so far. Chris Terry has the game's only goal at game in period one. So, after 40 here in Raleigh, it's the Carolina Hurricanes one and the New York Rangers. No score. Cam Ward and the Hurricanes prepare for the third period here in Raleigh. Before we get to it, here's Chantel McCabe with Kane's assistant, Rod Brindamore. Coach, your team has had lots of success when leading after two periods, but what do you want to see in this third to seal a deal? Well, it'll be nice to get into the game a little here. We're kind of hanging on, and that's not the way we want to play. Regardless of the score here, obviously we're happy to be up, but uh, that's not the way we want to play. So that's certainly not going to be successful playing like that. So we need to come out and have a good hard period and uh, take this game. Thank you. Okay. We've had only one goal tonight, as you see the records after two periods. Chris Terry, his second in as many games, his sixth of the season, scored at 7.20 of period one. John Forslund, Trip Tracy, and we saw and heard from Chantel McCabe, along with our fine crew. As we emanate tonight from PNC Arena, final home game before the holiday break. Carolina has two left tomorrow night in New York against these very same New York Rangers. It'll start with Hurricanes live at 6.30. But Belmore shot tipped high by Chris Terry in the slot. Gerby given a shoulder that time by Derek Stepan. The Hurricanes will close out the road portion pre-holiday against the New Jersey Devils on Tuesday night. But Belmore gets it from Cam Ward. The Rangers and Hurricanes execute line changes. 40 seconds gone in this third period. Belmore in back of the goal. Controlled breakout. Lead pass for Skinner rubbed out by Dan Boyle. In the center zone, corralled by New York's Derek Brassard. Cross ice, Dan Boyle's in. The trailer is Rick Nash. He'll pull up out in front. Off the stick that time of Matt Zuccarello. Brassard, broken up by Andre Sakara. Sakara gets to it for Carolina, and away they go. Very close to a tough line change. Andre Sakara, his pass detected by Dan Boyle. Boyle back out to neutral ice. Dogged by Sakara, who crunches him, Zuccarello. Hands it off. He encumbered Kevin Hayes. It's carried out of the zone that time by Jeff Skinner. Brought in. Hunwick for Hayes. He'll delay. Drag it. Ward down. Sent all the way back. Kevin Klein shot blocked by Patrick Dwyer. It goes deep. Now in the corner. Justin Folk for Patrick Dwyer. A pinch by Matt Hunwick. 
Loose, held in the zone, turned in by J.T. Miller. Holding on to it, he'll circle the wagons. Turn, off the stick, off Falk, and corralled by Cam Ward. Coors Light, cold hard fact. We'll take a look at our second installment tonight. This one on Cam Ward since November 23. Goals against average league-wide. Pecorine of Nashville, Mark andre Fleury, and then Mr. Ward. When you think about it, Pecorine, Nashville, top of their division. Pittsburgh, top of the conference. You know, that's, that's how good Cam has been. You, know, you look at the troubles for the Hurricanes. Not for him, he's on one. A sensational magic carpet ride. Tough turnover from Skinner and then Dwyer. The Hurricanes have to get better with their puck management. The Hurricanes have been out shooting their opponents of late. But not tonight as you see the margin at the top of your screen. Zach Boychuk taken care of by Ryan McDonough. Dan Girardi now in control. He'll wheel it along. Comes all the way back, a heavy hit. Belmore coming up hard that time on Ryan McDonough. Now Hainsey through the center zone and back. It'll make the line. It's icing against Carolina. Well, every faceoff gets big now because puck possession is so critical. But if the Hurricanes are going to have the edge, which they should in the faceoff circle, they can't give away the puck for free. And here you're going to have Riley Nash. He's going to need his wingers here because look at the top of his stick. Tough to create leverage. So let's see who can come in and help him out on a tied up puck. Jean Moran, the veteran linesman, will drop the puck off the faceoff. Cam Ward leaves it for Brett Belmore. A chip by Boychuk off the wall, all the way back, icing again against Carolina. Well, both players were on their less preferred side. Now both players will be on their preferred side with the faceoff on the other side. So this is going to be truly strength versus strength. Let's look here. We saw it through two periods. He's, he came into this period 8-1, so he's having an 89% nice. So this is going to be a tough task for Nash, but he's 6-3. Riley Nash and New York's Derek Broussard off the draw. Belmore lays it along off the glass. Neutral ice. Rick Nash turns it for the Rangers. Brings it along by Belmore. He's in. Ward got a piece of it, and a penalty will follow against Carolina. It goes deep. Knocked down by Rick Nash. Nash in the corner. Brings it along the wall. Draws it to himself. Draws a crowd. And we get a stoppage. Well, Rick Nash is a confident, confident hockey player right now. What a play. Wins uh, just a hungry battle. Just a good matchup for him. Out against Malone. Wins the battle to the outside on Belmore. The penalty had already occurred in the middle of the ice. The hook to Brad Malone and Cam Ward during the delayed sequence makes a heck of a save. Now step on. Getting ready here off the faceoff in control. They move it back. Tim Gleason will bounce it all the way in on Henrik Lundqvist. Malone gone for hooking. In control now. Boyle out to center. They work the transition over the line. San Luis dogged on the way through. Rick Nash sends it back for Dan Boyle as they set it up again. Gleason, uh, he did that same spot on the ice. First period power plays for the Toronto Maple. He's doing a nice job holding that defensive blue line. Dan Boyle over the line. Gets it. He rolls off his stick. Jay McClement is on him. They go to the corner. Gleason ties it up. Out of the pileup. Punched along by Brassard. A handoff. Out of the corner. They set it up. Brassard out in front. Boyle fanning on it. Loose to the board, San Luis to the point. Derek Stepan wheels it across, but Patrick Dwyer in control. He'll get it deep. And there Gleason gets caught, but he's not scared about holding the line because he had the back pressure when he gets caught to take care of Dan Boyle, I believe, by Jay McClement. Good work from Dwyer and McClement. Zuccarello springs him in. J.T. Miller is in. He scores! Power play goal for the New York Rangers, J.T. Miller. And we're tied. Stop it right here, guys. Look at Zuccarello and watch the absolute sensational pass that he makes. Boom. And then Miller has all sorts of time and space to freeze Cam Ward. 
comfortable, confident move to the forehand from a player that Elaine Vigneault was raving about before the game and just, I mean, just tucks it in the post on just a, a pretty darn brilliant breakaway move. JT Miller grew up an hour outside Pittsburgh in a very small town. They didn't have hockey, so he had to drive to Pittsburgh as a young man for many, many years with his mom and dad for a little, about an hour drive just to get to a rink to have practice and play. And he has played very well for the New York Rangers of late. Start of the season in the American Hockey League out to center ice. His goal is tied it now. Jeff Skinner for Carolina moving up on Ryan McDonough. He scores! What a goal! Jeff Skinner answers right back. And the Hurricanes recapture the lead. I love Skinner's route, right side of your screen. He comes underneath the puck. Good work from Lindholm. And then his God-given ability takes over in a very, very stoppable shot. Through the legs, on the backhand, but there were all sorts of good habits. Skinner coming underneath to help the hard work of Lindholm. I believe it was Falk holding the blue line and then beating a guy like McDon McDonough on the outside just even enough to gain the separation for the shot. Jeff Skinner's eighth goal of the season. Two on Carolina, Tanner Glass turned out with a purpose by Ward. Zuccarello, Mark Stahl, hammers one. Ward makes the save without rebound. Well, I've always thought a backhand is the toughest shot to lead for a goaltender. Great play from Lindholm, and there McDonough, I don't think he knew that this play was coming until the last second. How can you tell that? Because he never wants to skate forwards, but he knew that was the only chance he had to match Skinner's speed. And Lundqvist just never got set. Boy, what an answer goal after the Rangers finally dead Ward to get that one. 26 seconds after JT Miller scores on the power play. Jeff Skinner, goal number eight from Elias Lindholm and Justin Falk. As that one ricochets wide, Hunwick gets to it, negated by Chris Terry who pays a heavy price and it comes all the way back. Dan Boyle is on it for the Rangers. Derek Stepan will throw on the brakes out of the reach of Marty Sonnelly. It comes back to Brett Belmore. We'll play it along the boards. Terry a chip, not out, held in by Stepan. Gained again here by Belmore. Gains and Rangers tomorrow night starting right here with Hurricanes live from MSG at 6.30. Getting back is Andre Sakara. Sakara in his own zone on the tape of Eric Stahl. 14.32 left to go in the third period. Hurricanes back up by one as it deflects all the way in. Icing is called here against the Canes. In every situation, you know, Bill Peters, he has been calling his timeout off of icings in earlier portions of games than he had been earlier this year. This is going to be difficult. Broussard has a big advantage on Eric Stahl here. Broussard's had a big night. He can cover the dot a lot better than Eric can. This is his strong side. He wins it. McDonough now after the win by Broussard. Here's Belmore. Moved along. Zuccarello inside for Rick Nash. It deflects out of play with 14-17 left to go in regulation time. We've got all the news from the world of sports, including highlights of a full day in the NBA and NHL. Fox Sports Live is tonight on Fox Sports 1. The Eagles head to D.C. with the NFC East hanging in the balance while the Chargers try to keep their playoff hopes alive. Highlights from around the NHL and NBA. Ray John Rondo making his debut in Dallas, plus a comeback you'll have to see to believe. Villanova with an overtime thriller. Right shot, Lindholm, not Rask, takes that draw, which is the right move, and he won it. Now it's broken up. Moved back out to center ice. Skinner, thwarted by Rick Nash. As they go D to D for Dan Girardi out to center ice. Moved along by Derek Brassard. Justin Falk now hands it off to Sakara. Around the boards, not out. McDonough, a steal. Here's Zuccarello holding on to it. His shot. Ward got a piece of it with a screen out in front from Derek Brassard. Excellent reverse from Falk and Sikera. We talked about their games coming in our open. And up 2-1, I have no idea why Lindholm flew the zone. That's what led to the chance. Now it's carried out by Carl Hagelin. 
Shied away that time from Tim Gleason. Jordan for Carolina. Hit by Haglund. Out of the corner. Riley Nash in control. Along the boards, a spring pass intended for Dwyer. Dwyer busting in on Hunwick. It's left for Brad Malone. To the point, Jordan. He'll move it hard around this way. The Rangers, J.T. Miller takes a hit, but not out. Gleason's bid wide of Lundquist. Getting to it here is Haglund back in his own zone. Seven minutes gone in this third period. Matt Hunwick for the Rangers. Retreats in his own territory. They start again. Kevin Klein. Moved across now for Hunwick. Through center, camped out was Miller. Ward leads it for Tim Gleason. J.T. Miller is on him. Going down that time in back of the goal was Tim Gleason. And a penalty upcoming against the Rangers. As Lundquist will hang on. We'll tell you about it when we come back. J.T. Miller with a breakaway power play goal. Seconds later, the magic from Jeff Skinner. 2-1, Carolina. I'm Jeff Skinner. And I'm Elias Lermont. And we want to wish you a safe and happy holiday. Thank you, boys. J.T. Miller, who has scored tonight in the box here, trip for Holden. It's amazing things change in just a couple minutes. He was a hero scoring a goal a few minutes ago. Now takes an offensive zone penalty. You see the referee, top of your screen, makes the call. Carolina with their fourth power play tonight. One of those abbreviated. They are 0 for 3. Dominic Moore for the Rangers. Bottled up by Victor Rass. Carl Haglund sneaks in. And the door was slammed shut that time by Riley Nash and Cam Ward. It's carried out by Elias Lindholm. Over the line, he'll pull up. Lay it along for Nash. Inside it goes. Gerby to the outside. It's loose. Lindholm for Carolina. For Riley Nash along the wall. Punched along by Girardi. It's loose to the corner. Hunted down by Nathan Gerby. He'll set up shop. Gerby in control. Side of the goal. It goes by Lindholm. Moving up was Victor Rask. Now to the wall, Riley Nash off the stick of Ryan McDonough. Riley Nash getting it back. He'll set it up off the stick of Girardi. Lindholm in back of Lundquist. He'll stretch it out. Elias Lindholm holding onto that puck. Walking the line is Justin Fulk. One-timer Rask denied by Lundquist. Now it's played here by Lindholm getting it back from Riley Nash to the point Fulk. Guarding him is Dominic Moore. Lindholm turned out by Lundquist to the corner now. Lindholm again. He's on it. To the point. Polk one more time. Lindholm advancing. Justin Polk. Here it comes. Block breaking the stick in two. Dominic Moore. Across now. Lindholm. He'll dust it off. Polk around the clock. Rask off a stick. A beautiful stick from Girardi. Outside the line. Polk. Getting away from Haglin as the Hurricanes now set it back up. Lundquist took that out, that the mask, and then Moore broke his stick. What a change to get, I believe, Stepan on the ice. So, I mean, it always becomes an isolation-type power play when you're down a man and down a stick, and the Rangers didn't have to face it. Spring pass for Terry. He's in. He's knocked down by Kevin Klein. They go to the corner. Rick Nash headmans the puck to Derek Stepan. Nash has it again for the Rangers. Rick Nash dangles, holds onto it, wipes it wide, off a stick, off Sakara. Rick Nash one more time. He'll grind in the Carolina zone. Kevin Klein at the point, point to point. Shot taken by Miller goes wide. It's loose now, played here by Skinner. J.T. Miller out in front, Stepan broken up. Andre Sakara. Sakara in his own zone, just about halfway through period three. Carolina 0 for 4 with the power play tonight with two shots. We spoke to Bill Peters this morning. So Kara's game coming on. He says defensively he cannot be stationary. He has to use his feet. Skating has to be his asset. It was there. Now at center ice. Broken up by Patrick Dwyer. Zuccarello comes across. McClement for Carolina. Malone now. Off a of support. Hard around. Matt Zuccarello out of the corner. Check. McClement gets control. Dwyer had the hit on him. Loose in back of the goal. Boyle. Dan Boyle. Look out there. Played here by Marty San Luis. He's hit by Dwyer. Hunwick moves it. Wide open is Dan Boyle in his own zone. He'll slam it out to center ice. San Luis camped out. Now Zuccarello. Marty San Luis. Drop pass off the stick of Gleason. San Luis gets to it. He'll grind it. Good play. Gleason now on a foot race, but it rolls all the way in and a good look at the backside of Henrik Lundqvist as he sets it up. 9.15 left to go in this third period. Carried out and in control, San Luis in the skates of Kevin Klein. And Carolina, as we see, they're on it. 
Ron Hainsey out to center ice. In full flight, Elias Lindholm to the outside of Mark Stahl. He throws on the brakes. Defended by Mark Stahl. Out of the corner now. Riley Nash for the Hurricanes. He'll wipe it along. Loose this way. They get to it. Cutting back in his own zone. Yes, per Faust. And they start again. And that was a good job of hounding the puck from Derby. But more importantly, Nash is the F3, the high forward there to be a safety belt. Now, Kevin Hayes. Foss at his side. Girardi off ward. Out in front. Skinner coming back. Jeff Skinner starts his engine. A lead pass for Chris Terry. Negated by Chris Kreider. Faust for the Rangers. Broken up. Getting to it is Ryan McDonough. They set it up again. 8.22 left in regulation time. Hurricanes have had two one-goal leads tonight. Cam Ward out to play it. Move it along for Justin Folk. On the tape of Eric Stahl. Center zone, Chris Terry. Terry moving up on Hunwick, who defends. Skinner has it. His shot. Great save by Lundquist. Along the boards now, Eric Stahl goes deep. That all starts with uh, Cam Ward getting out, stopping a puck, maybe more importantly, making the right Loose play. Loose play, here's Dwyer, and it's recovered by Derek Broussard. And back out, through center ice, Boyle, over the line, his shot, turned out by Ward. They take care of the rebound. It's loose along the wall, Zuccarello, out in front, cleaned up by Falk, only for the moment now. Rick Nash, tough angle, stopped by Ward, off the mask, it's loose, Hunwick with a shot, they score! Wait a minute, no goal! The mask was off, no goal! John, I think the mask came off after. I thought he was calling incidental contact. You could tell that Cam's mask after the, the puck hitting it, the, one of the fasteners, the buttons on there, the snaps on there, I think was broken. But until he actually removes it, the referee does not blow the whistle. They're getting together right now. So I don't know if the mask is the issue or if there may have been incidental contact slash goalie interference. Either way, this is what the referees are told to do. Of course, it's not reviewable, so if they're going to make any type of a change, it has to happen on the ice. See, so right now you see, well, that's incidental contact, I think, but then, boy, it's just tough to when the puck goes. Let's watch here. So Broussard comes in. I would call it incidental contact right here. So to me, Cam Ward is prevented from doing his job. So to me, the mask is a non-issue. That is incidental contact. You could even maybe call goalie interference. I wouldn't call the penalty. I would just call the contact face off outside. We're going to break. 7.36 left to go in the third period. We'll interpret it one way or another when we come back. We have the interpretation. Play was blown dead. Yeah, and I, I, because the face off's going to stay inside, I believe it's because the mask had come off, which I, I thought the puck went in first. Either way, they made the right call. So let's just watch here. To me, I see contact that prevents Cam from doing his job. He would have been out challenging. The mask is in the process of coming off. Clearly, that was the determinant. Had it been incidental contact, the faceoff would have been outside. They got together, and they got it right. Dan Boyle now in control. 7.25 left in this third period. 2-1 to one Carolina. Same two teams tomorrow night at New York's Madison Square Garden. This is the second of five meetings. The first one won in a shootout by the Rangers at MSG on October 16th. Ryan McDonough in control over the line in the zone. Effort on the way through by Nathan Gerby. Belmore moves it to Eric Stahl. The Rangers now get control at center. Rolled back by Chris Kreider. 6.49 left in this third period. This is Kevin Hayes through center on the attack. They'll go wide, carry along, and it's covered by Cam Ward. You know, the referee was in perfect position. There's always the chance because he could tell that that shot in the head dislodged something in his mask, and it was probably one of the snaps. There's always the chance that the referee could say, Cam, I can't blow the whistle until you take your mask off. You know, and, and you don't want to do that because you don't want to get hit in the head, obviously. But I know Cam has a rapport with the referees that is as good as any goalie in the NHL because he's so calm, especially when a call doesn't go his way. He doesn't, you know, blow a gasket. They all have a lot of respect for his calm nature. Carolina stopped a hot team Thursday night and had won six in a row in the Toronto Maple Leafs. Tonight they play a team that has won four in a row and eight of their last 11. Coors Light freeze cam. We'll take a look right here. Well, our first game key was another good first period, and Carolina Hurricanes did not have one. 
but they had a monstrous one from Cam Ward, including a little puck luck. Right after this, they scored the first goal of the hockey game. A beautiful two-on-one play, Derby to Chris Terry. John, at some point here, Cam Ward's going to have to be in consideration for the All-Star ballot. I mean, he's getting close to that territory. Mm -hmm. Now back out to center ice. Lindholm springs Rask. His shot goes wide. A good one on Henrik Lundqvist. 618 left in regulation time. Shot differential, you can see it. The Rangers have controlled that. Wards take care of it. Now Skinner with a shot off McDonough. Getting to it is Patrick Dwyer. Broken up. Rick Nash gets help from Ryan McDonough. And away they go. McDonough over the line on Belmore. He'll walk in, fan on a pass. He's crunched by Belmore. In support, Jay McClennett. Belmore was taken down. The crowd moans. No call. Skinner goes wide. His shot rockets off the stick of Girardi and goes out of play. 547 left to go in this third period. Two to one Carolina down the stretch in Raleigh. At PNC, two-thirds of the goal scoring tonight. For the guys in red, let's take a look at the story here tonight. Chris Terry says on a two-on-one, you have to stay even with the puck carrier to have a good chance. That's exactly what he did. And then Zuccarello, what a feed to Miller. What a feed. And then right afterwards, right when you thought New York was really going to build off that momentum, Skinner turns and burns on McDonough. And a tough goal for Lundqvist. Same two teams tomorrow night, starting with Hurricanes Live at 6.30 at Madison Square Garden. Canes will take on the New Jersey Devils on Tuesday night. More Metro Division play now. Carl Hagelin with a shot with a goal crease. It's loose. Dan Girardi hammers one off. J.T. Miller getting to it. Mark Stahl inside. Jordan for Carolina on Hagelin. Hagelin gets back up. Out of the corner. He'll move it. Down the boards again. Girardi pinned by Dwyer. Riley Nash for the Hurricanes. A loose puck turning is Carl Hagelin. Hagelin to the outside. Miller all the way across. Girardi had a wait. Brought along by the Hurricanes, Patrick Dwyer. He goes off on a line change and rolls it in. Girardi to an open wing. Marty San Louis coming back. 5:02 left in regulation time. Girardi for Mark Stahl. A quick up for Marty San Louis by him all the way back in. Icing is called here against Carolina. That was interesting. Sure. Why? Well, I thought Kreider had the better chance to play that puck first. Well, John, let's look at these. Uh, another strong first period. It wasn't strong, but it was strong that Carolina, because the Cam Ward was up 1-0, the big one is on the bottom. Rick Nash's 11-game point streak is in jeopardy. He doesn't have a point tonight, so I would say they've certainly contained a rolling Rick Nash. Eight goals, six assists in that time period. 20 goals for his season. Now Eric Stahl out of the corner. Eric Stepan has it for the Rangers, and here they come. Stepan with San Luis. And Chris Kreider to the corner now. Belmore paired with Hainsey. Belmore taken down. A heavy collision with Dan Boyle. See if Belmore gets up. Looks like he's working his way to his feet. He's a tough customer. Looks like he's okay. And it looks like he lost his footing a little bit to me. I don't see anything malicious about the hit. I think he lost his foot. I think Boyle's just trying to come down as a defenseman down the wall and create a turnover. Boyle actually pulled up because Belmore was going down on his own accord. He'll take a seat. 4.34 left in his third period. Brassard will face off here against Riley Nash. He's off controlled by Carolina. Victor Rask elevates the puck. Fielded by Rick Nash. In control now, he drops it off. Kevin Klein will swing it across. 420 on the clock. Brassard moves it all the way back on the regroup. Leads it across. Here comes McDonough. His shot goes wide. Ward had the angle. Along the boards now, Jeff Skinner. Off the wall, all the way back down. Foot race ensues. No icing. Played here by Victor Rask. Rick Nash headmans to Zuccarello. He'll feed it along, negated by Ron Hainsey and back out. Boy, they're taking away 
the outside first working from the middle of the ice by Patrick Dwyer. Previous shift getting it deep. Just good fundamental hockey. Puck is dumped in. J.T. Miller moves it back. Hunwick fans on a dump. Here's Malone. Broken up by Kevin Hayes. Brett Delmore for Carolina. Rifles it deep for Pat Dwyer. Dwyer, sweet check from Dan Girardi. Out of the corner. Carolina gets to it. McClement by Dwyer. Kevin Hayes is on it. Hayes in control. And Hunwick now deep in his own zone. He'll start again. A lead pass for Girardi. All the way across off the stick of Malone. Malone back in his own end. And offside is called here. Let's take a look at the Hurricanes team rattling check of the game presented by Dr. Tom Long, team dentist for the Carolina Hurricanes. John, he may not be pretty, but if the Carolina Hurricanes can find a way to win this game, Brett Belmore's second game back from injury, which they would have won both, they would have a 7-5, and I don't know what the overtime report is record mm. with Brett Belmore in the line. Mm. Winning record with Belmore. He works well with Hainsey in particular, and I think his stick is particularly good. He gives them a physical dimension that they don't have a lot of. It's true. He brings that dimension. There's no doubt now Sakara. He's a gamer. He proved it last year to stay in the National Hockey League. Now Dominic Moore will attempt to get it deep. Cam Ward out to play it. 3.02 left in his third period. Sakara at the point. Boyle by him. Back out. And it's rolled all the way back down. In control now is Mark Stahl with under three minutes left in this third period. Dan Boyle back out. Knocked down by Brad Malone. Turning with it here is Dominic Moore. They set it up again. 240 on the clock. Scooped ahead by Mark Stahl. Blocker down with a purpose by Ward. Falk golfs it into his own bench. We get a stoppage of play. Well, I think that this is, uh, fortunately for the Hurricanes, not going to be a penalty. Now, if a puck is golfed and it goes cleanly over the glass and ends up on the bench, it still can be a penalty. I talked to the league about this. If you look at almost the glass at the edge of the Carolina zone, see that little curvature part? That's almost like a foul pull. If the puck goes over the crowd side of that then comes back on the bench, it is a penalty. Fortunately, that wasn't. Now Klein holding on to it. Kreider held up by Hainsey. Chris Kreider diagonally across for Klein. His shot, they score! It had eyes, it's Kevin Klein, who's had a big season. It could be his seventh goal of the year, and the Rangers have tied it. Hurricanes do everything right. They've got a righty out to take this draw, which is what they want. And now watch, this is your eventual goal score. Step on, you wouldn't think he was gonna win this try. Actually, I believe it was Kreider coming in wearing 20 that got puck possession off the wing. Then he regains possession, gets it to Klein. I don't know if it, uh, Belmore screen Cam Ward. It didn't look like it hits anything on the way in. We mentioned what a year Klein's having. Ward didn't move, he had to be screened. He moved late when he did. A well-disguised wrist shot by Kevin Klein. His seventh goal of the season is tight. Eric Stahl through the middle. Held up on the way through. Center zone fault. He'll lay it all the way down to Henrik Lundqvist. Lundqvist now will move it. The previous meeting in mid-October went to shootout. Won by New York. Dominic Moore moving up. Holding on to it. Defended by Hainsey, Moore gets to it, to the point. McDonough, his shot blocked on the way through, it stung. Chris Terry, he'll go to the bench as Carolina gets it deep. And that's paying the price for Terry. I think it was the high screen from Lindholm that uh, factored in on that climb shot. Now going down in front of Lundquist, that time with Skinner. Here come the Rangers, but Carl Haglin is offside. Lindholm is in the lane. And Klein's shot, which was a smart wrister, just getting it through. Goes five hole on Lindholm. Starts wobbling a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, but I don't think it hits Belmore. And I think, but I think the key part of Cam tr having trouble tracking it was Lindholm. Did you see Skinner perhaps headed to the dressing room? Kevin Klein has had, good to see Skinner coming back, has had an excellent year. Might be a skate issue. Bobby Gorman right there with Jeff Skinner along the bench. He'll get the stone here to sharpen that blade, I believe. 
or replace the blade. Kevin Klein from Chris Kreider and Derek Stepan at 1737 off the draw. Nash detected by Hagelin, not out. Belmore off the end wall, off the glass. Girardi hands it off to Derek Broussard. Here they come through center ice and back. Hainsey takes a look. A buck 15 left here in Raleigh. New game leveled at two. It comes all the way back. Looking over his shoulder. Mark Stahl. Stahl out of the corner. Pressured on the forecheck. It comes back to the point. Sakara walks it. Inside he goes. Andre Sakara circles the wagons. Holds onto it. Out in front. Off a of body. Captured this way by Derek Stepan. And back out. In control. Carl Haglin. Cross corner dump in. On the gallop. Jesper Foss goes hard at his man. It's loose. Getting to it, Kevin Klein, holding. Looking around in deep, Sakara read the play for Carolina. 39 seconds left in regulation time. Fost for the Rangers, getting to it, McClennan. Now Justin Falk in control, finished off by Fost. Loose along the wall, Patrick Dwyer for Carolina, taken down by Dominic Moore, but he stays with it, and the Hurricanes get it out. 23 seconds left, a chip. Blocker down by Cam Ward to the corner. Justin Falk now. Eric Stahl moves it along by Sakara. Here's Nathan Gerby. Over the line. Lindholm blocked by Mark Stahl. Stahl kicks it to himself. Six seconds left in regulation time. Hainsey with a shot. Off a body off Mark Stahl. Eric's bid blocked by Girardi. And we go to overtime. Pretty good looking deal that uh, New York made with Nashville sending Delzato for Klein last season. Certainly was. There's no doubt about it. Kevin Klein has had a great season, and his goal at 1737 of his third period has tied it for the New York Rangers. We're deadlocked at two, and overtime is straight ahead. Back in Raleigh as we get set for overtime, Kevin Klein's goal in the late stages of period three has tied the game. Bill Peters with some strategy for the four on four. The game summary. Chris Terry started the scoring way back when in period one. J.T. Miller with his fourth goal of the season. That tied the game in this third period. 26 seconds later, Jeff Skinner would score his eighth for Carolina. Kevin Klein with his seventh in the late stages. The goaltenders, well, Lundquist not busy. Cam Hord, yes sir. And the overtime is presented by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. Live for the game. Live fearless. Out to center ice. The Rangers' Derek Brassard. Dan Girardi turns just wide of Cam Ward. Victor Rask out to center. Skinner with Falk. Here he comes. His shot pinballs in. Fought off by Lundquist. Justin Falk all the way across for Andre Sakara. Dancing away from Derek Brassard. Holding onto it. A tight turn by Sakara. Zuccarello is on him. Sakara stays with it. Rask holding. Looking for a lane. Victor Rask. He'll assert. Lay it back. Both with a shot turned out. And out of play by Henrik Lundqvist. Boy, this is where you can really see the improved offensive confidence level of Justin Falk in four-on-four four hockey. Watch Rask. Get it to Skinner. Now Falk's thinking, I'm jumping. And he makes this an opportunity, but McDonough plays it quite well. And then eventually Rask shows composure, works uh, into a blast in one-timing fashion from Falk Blocker save. Riley Nash and Derek Stepan on this faceoff. 45 seconds gone in overtime. They obviously switch ends. Nash with a chance just wide. Rolled off his stick. Nash again. Riley to the outside, holding onto it. Riley Nash inside for Hainsey. Hainsey moving up on the play. Out of the corner in the Rangers zone. Lindholm at his side. Given a shove. Dan Boyle gets to it for the Rangers. Moves it along the wall. Derek Stepan has a hard time getting it out. It's loose. Lindholm grinding for Carolina. Mark Stahl is on him. 3.49 left in overtime as they continue this scrum. Nash moves it in on the target. No further play. Boy, Mark Stahl, he's come all the way back from that unbelievably scary eye injury. You know, he still doesn't have full vision in that eye. But when, when Ryan McDonough was hurt, you know, several weeks ago, he had five games where he played over 25 minutes and played extremely well. He's played at times with Dan Boyle, with Boyle back, and Kevin Klein. He's been a horse. Up the face off, back it goes, Justin Falk. His shot swallowed by Henrik Lundqvist. Eric Stahl has gotten so much better at winning faceoffs on his forehead. 
Oh boy, I remember a time he was a rookie. Actually, he throws backhand here. That's where he's unpredictable. Sometimes he'll try the backhand on the non-traditional backhand side. Back in the day, he was playing with Corey Stillman and Eric Bowen. He didn't think face-offs were important. He's learned since then they are. He has. Eric Stahl, Nathan Gerby, Andre Sequeira, and Justin Falk. The court 10 out for Bill Peters, who told us before we taped Hurricanes Live, Coach's Corner, this one was going to OT. Dominic Moore broken up by Justin Falk, carried out here by Eric Stahl. Stahl with Gerby at his side, cuts, holds onto it. The captain takes it to the outside. Falk along the wall. Here's Stahl, his shot blocked by Ryan McDonough. Getting to it, Andre Sequeira. Sequeira stretches it out again. He'll put on a show, Andre Sakara, a skating clinic, walking in on his backhand, he turns, it's blocked by Marty Saint-Louis, and the Rangers get it out. I mean, unbelievable edge work, maybe even better defense for McDonough and Saint-Louis. Now it's played here by Dominic Moore, stretch pass Saint-Louis, it's offside. How Sakara did not create a pretty darn good opportunity out of this is a credit to McDonough first, and then San Luis. I mean, just inside edges, outside edges. Little switch there, that could have caused the time, or created the time and space. And Marty San Luis, throughout his future Hall of Fame career, not really known for that type of stalwart defensive play. He had it there. Face off, controlled by Carolina. Ron Hainsey for Victor Rask. And Skinner in the slot. Skinner joins him on the wall. Rask holding onto it, he'll grind. Belmore moves it to the corner. Skinner is there, so is Hunwick. Skinner has it. He'll turn. Defended by Hunwick. It's loose. Belmore bulldozes his way through. Broken up by the Rangers. Here they come. Rick Nash on the gallop over the line. Moving up on Victor Rask. He'll button hook. Hold on to it. Rick Nash with a stutter step. He'll walk in for a chance. Kept to the outside by Young Rask. Up top step on. He fanned on it. Here come the Hurricanes. It's Skinner. Skinner over the line. Holding on to it. A pirouette. Here he comes. Loose down to the corner. Victor Rask in control. He'll close in. Shift. Shoot one high off a stick. It stays in play. Under two minutes left here in overtime as the Rangers now set it up. And Boyle in back of Henrik Lundqvist. A buck 50 left in OT. The Rangers carry it along here. Fed along that time by Miller for Mark Stahl. Miller off the pad of Ward. Zuccarello to the outside. He'll dart. Matt Zuccarello to the point. Dan Boyle, Arister block off his own man, Zuccarello. J.T. Miller leaves it there. Getting back now, looking around. Elias Lindholm. Lindholm from the corner. 127 on the clock. Riley Nash for the Hurricanes. He'll start. Now to center ice. Nash in control. Riley now at the line. Guarded on the way through. Stolen by Kevin Hayes. Here come the Rangers. Chris Kreider with a shot blocked by Ron Hainsey. Getting to it is Andre Sakara. 69 seconds left in overtime. Riley Nash forks it along. Cut off by Girardi. This way it's Ryan McDonough. Girardi now in control. Out to center. Lead pass for Kreider. Bouncing it on board. Look out. Hainsey. Punished by Kreider. It's loose to the point man. McDonough broken up by Stolle. Recovers. Now Kevin Hayes. Wheels it back. 47 seconds on the clock. Here comes Ryan McDonough to the outside. Holding out of it. His shot. Sealed off by Ward. Hayes is tied up by Sakara. Eric Stahl battles his way back. And the Hurricanes have control. 35 seconds left in overtime. Here comes the Carolina captain out to center ice. Stahl hands it off to Gerby. It goes deep. Mark Stahl is back. 24 seconds left. He lost his footing. He reverses. Skinner is forechecking. He gets it back now. That being Mark Stahl as they move it from their own zone. 15 seconds on the clock. Out to center ice. It's Mark Stahl. Final push here for the Rangers. They do not stay onside. You will see more of this tomorrow night from Madison Square Garden starting at 6.30. And if we don't go, do go to a shootout, John, you and I were to practice this past Monday where Bill Peters worked on the shootout. And the guys that really had a good day were Gerby, Rask, and Dwyer. I expect Skinner to be part of the group. But I, and Bill said what those guys did in the shootout at practice will have an impact the next time the Hurricanes face that dimension. So you might see one of those three guys based yeah. on that practice. That's right. That's why you do it. Why not? Now here's McDonough. Five seconds. His shot caught by Ward. He'll hang on with 1.8 seconds on the clock. 
Well, I would have had every Hurricanes fan loathing me if uh, McDonough had beaten Ward with this shot. But outside the dot, the way Cam's seeing it, glove in front, looks it right into the, the basket. And that's, that's a routine save for Cam. It's good to see McDonough back in healthy. What skating ability. And Cam Ward's glove has been an absolutely awesome, awesome defense mechanism this season. First meeting on October 16 went to shootout. Won by the Rangers 2-1. to one. This is the second of five meetings inside the Metropolitan Division. They may adjust the clock here. Maybe a fraction or maybe a full second will be put up. We'll see. It is. It's 2.4 now, and that's very important. Now, me? I'm down there. I might pull on Quist because I don't see any way that puck's getting down there in 2-4. They're going to try to win it back for a quick shot from Nash, I think. Rick Nash in back of Brassard. The faceoff won back by Riley Nash, and that'll do it. For the second time this season, when we see the Rangers and the Hurricanes, we go to shootout. And Rick Nash's point streak is over. So that's how good of a job Cam Ward has done with 32 saves on 34 shots. An 11-game point streak is in the books, but an excellent hockey game. Excellent hockey game. And Lundquist is I, the only goalie I can think of that works on breakaways at the end of every NHL warm-up. And so for the second time in as many games between these two clubs this season, dating back to October, where it was Hudoba, not Warren, we're going to the shootout. The last time, let's flash back to Madison Square Garden. Well, let's, let's see if Cam Ward catches a word with Hudobin and, and Rick Nash, who I'm sure will be part of this shootout, will try that power move to the forehand again with his reach. Let's see who the three guys are. I'm thinking Skinny, Skinner, Kirby, and I'd say Rask. They switch ends to the original ends that they occupy in the third period. Rick Nash will take a seat, and it's likely, very likely, we see him. Jeff Skinner will lead it off for Carolina. Home team has the option, as we know. Carolina will bat first. Henrik Lundqvist will stare him down. Everybody on their feet at PNC Arena. Jeff Skinner, who has scored tonight. We'll get a chance as we start the shootout. Skinner walks in, delays, and it goes high. I think he tried to sell Lundquist that he was going halfway up on the blocker side and then looked for elevation on the glove. And Henrik, very, very strong play pick. Matt Zuccarello. We'll get his opportunities. Take a look at his accord in shootouts. 43%. That's very respectable. Here he comes. The Norwegian walks in and scores a bullet by Cam Ward. 1-0 New York. Well, he's from Norway, as we know, and he uses a stick that could probably reach from Norway to from Oslo to New York City. I mean, look how big the stick is. You know, he can change the angle with it. Obviously, you can see how strong his forearms are because that zipped right off, right into the top half of the net. Nathan Gerby now will go to work. In the two-hole for Bill Peters, Gerby walks in, sends it wide as Lundqvist hung in there. You know, that's the move that the one move he didn't score on in that practice on Monday. The first two, he went blocker high, and then he switched it up and tried this move on Cam. I'm surprised he didn't go back to that blocker move that uh, was brilliant back in practice. And the game is on the stick of Derek Stepan. Should he score? That's it. Stepan, with the game on the line, walks in. Shut down by Cam Ward. Let's see if it's Victor Rask now. No, it's going to be Chris Terry. I, I can't argue that one at all. Nice save here. Patient Cam Ward. Blocker in front. Looked like he was drifting to the other side. Chris Terry has been a pretty good shootout there. Certainly has. There you see it. Three out of four. Here he comes on Lundquist. Who makes a miraculous stop? And the New York Rangers take home the two points. Henrik Lundqvist denies all three shooters, and the Rangers win it via the shootout, 3-2. to two. Well, when you look at the 65 minutes, I think you'd have to say that the Rangers were the better team tonight. Cam Ward was spectacular, and Henrik Lundqvist's team really picked him up after he gave up a goal that he rarely does to Jeff Skinner to make it 2-1, and Kevin Klein continues to be a, a real hero for this hockey club. I mean, Terry did 
I think what you want to do, came in with speed, gets the puck up on the backhand, and if there was ever a chink in Henrik Lundqvist's armor, it was his glove side high, not in the shootout. The save on Skinner, glove high, and the one to seal the deal going back to New York. A beautiful glove stop on Chris Terry. Gaines will get a point in the standings, but the New York Rangers rally back. They tie it late, they force overtime, and they win in the shootout. Final score here tonight, the New York Rangers three, and the Carolina Hurricanes two. Stay with us. Hurricanes Live, the post-game edition will be coming your way. We have total post-game coverage that comes your way from PNC Arena. We'll break the game down. We will have locker room sound and much more. Hard-fought game and the first of two this weekend. Tomorrow night, the same two at Madison Square Garden. Chris Terry started the scoring. J.T. Miller would tie the game in the third period. 26 seconds later, it's Jeff Skinner. But Kevin Klein late from the point found a way. That forced overtime, a game won by Henrik Lundqvist and the New York Rangers. Hurricanes Live is next.